Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will talk just a little bit about memory or RAM on your Samsung Galaxy device and a few tips to help your phone run just a little bit more smoothly and also make sure you're not hurting your device in the long run. So in today's video, we'll take a look at just a couple things. First off, you can see here that I have a lot of applications that are running, uh, but it just states that I can clean only 537 megabytes. Now, when we take a look at a screen recording, if I hit this play button, you'll see that I have a bunch of stuff going on as well. But you can see that I'm using a bunch more where there is more to be cleaned, almost a, a little bit over a full entire gig to clean up. But I am running the same amount of applications that I am right now. So I'll show you a little trick that you're able to do to make sure that you're running more efficiently and optimized just like this. But I also want to talk a little bit about RAM Plus as well. So I would suggest not to use RAM Plus just because this is something where you're able to use some of your, your regular memory, your storage on your phone as a virtual RAM. Now I've played with this in the past and I've also pushed it in the past, but it was when I was new and I played with it. And really what I found out is if you have some of those Samsung Galaxy devices with less RAM, closer to like six gig or eight gig, uh, if you want to, you can go to the two gigs if you want to. I would not go anything more than that because there is a read and write cycle when it comes down to your phone. What you're doing essentially is turning your internal storage into a virtual RAM, which has a lot of read, write, read, write cycles, and it also reads and writes much quicker than the normal internal storage. So if you use RAM Plus, which I would suggest not to, it's only when you have Samsung phones with maybe six gigs of RAM or eight gigs of RAM, and you can use this option down here of maybe the Plus 2 uh, but the only thing is that if you plan to have your phone for five, six, seven years, eventually you will be wearing down your internal storage. If you're somebody who upgrades every two years, three years, you're going to be fine. But I wouldn't do more than that. You don't want to cause more damage at the higher uh, virtual RAM usage. Just use it at the lower. But if you have anything that's 10 gigs or 12 gigs or 14 gigs or 16 gigs, you don't need this at all because you have a sufficient amount of RAM that will do its job. Now let's talk about this top portion up here, which is freeing up your memory where you can hit on clear now. So we'll talk about services and also processes. Now processes is the ones where you literally just opened up your application, you opened up a process box, and this is where you're doing something right there in the foreground of your phone, you're actually interacting with it. And then you can have your services that is running in the background, such as location or your microphone, or if you're listening to YouTube music, your services is allowing you to listen to it in the background and the processes of you actually interacting with it when it is opened. Now, because Samsung is efficient, you're able to have several processes is going at the same time coming from one service, such as maybe your location services running four or five different applications. Now, how you're able to have a bunch of applications that is running, but you don't have a lot to clean up where it's not actively using those processes or services, such as this video right here, we can see that there is 1.6 gigs, which this one right here is over a gig more than what I am using currently. And that is because of one change that I did. So how you're able to make this change from going from a bunch of applications open to having a lot of processes that is running that you have to clean out versus having a lot of applications running and not so much processes to clean out. You don't have to clean up as much of your memory is you want to go inside of your settings. You're going to go all the way down and you want to unlock your developer options. You can unlock developer options by going inside of your about phone and tapping on build the number seven times. So once you have the developer options opened, this is where, uh, first off, let's look at this. You can see your running services. You can see what is running. You can see the process and service, process and service, process and service. So it's kind of like your location or your call or your mic or anything like that. You can see that this one process has two services. This one has two processes and two services. And a lot of times when you see these two services, they're probably the exact same ones. Um, also on the very top, this is where you can see everything broken down from your system to the application usage, to what is being freed up currently. But what you wanna take a look at is as you scroll down, you'll notice a little blue area here, uh, that little tap box. But this is where you wanna go up just a little bit from that. Here is your category of apps. Inside of apps, you can go right here and you go to background process limit. 
Now, uh, regular out of box standard, it's going to be the standard limit. When you have the standard limit, the phone itself will choose efficiently how much services should be running in the background. That again, helps you get all of your notifications uh, you know, immediately and instantly, and just how many uh, processes would be able to run at any given point in time, which could easily be more than four processes. That means that you could be getting all your notifications from every single social media application, your email, your YouTube, your everything, but uh, to be safe, you can put it right at four. Because more than likely, if you have four different processes that could be running in the background, then more than likely you will get whatever is important because more than likely you were just using or recently used that application. Now you can go to no background processes, but then what that kind of does is it turns off some of those notifications and it turns off anything running in the background, which you might need to have, such as location for applications or games or whatever the case. So, you know, you can have your four processes, which I think is a good option. You can have this one right here, which is don't keep activities, which means destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it. You can do this one, but again, you're just closing out a lot of things, uh, but at least your phone will be running efficient, probably a little bit better battery life, but then you're not getting notifications or uh, updates or anything like that, which your phone is supposed to be giving you. So this is where I would suggest out of everything, don't use RAM Plus unless if you, you literally have to have it on some of those smaller phones with smaller RAMs and you are a power user, but leave it at the smallest of two gigs. And then this right here, which is the background process limit. The reason why right now, when I take a look at my, my device care, the reason why this one is smaller currently is because it's looking at my last four processes. There's not a lot going on right here. So let's say that we just go inside of a few things. Let's open up and, and, and kind of watch a video. I might have to turn this down a little bit. So let's say that we have that one that is going on. Uh, and then maybe I want to go over here and I want to play a game. And so we open this up. Then what's going to happen is that you'll notice that the amount of RAM, or I should say the amount of memory that I'm able to clear is going to be higher now because my most recent applications is using more RAM and more memory. So we'll go to back to device care. We take a look at the memory and now you can see it's a much higher memory. Uh, and also one of the other processes that kind of happened was my Gmail. So it probably synced up as well, but there we go. You can see clean 1.3. So this one was much higher already. So now let me show you what the number is after you have closed the applications, after you have already hit the clear now, cause I just hit the clear now. I wanted to show you what it looked like. If nothing was already preemptively already open, you can see it's at 370 megabytes. So this is what it looks like when everything is closed, when everything has been cleaned up, you have closed out of all of this stuff. Um, and beforehand, if you remember, I had all those other applications I was running in the background, YouTube, YouTube Music, Pokemon Go, but they were further down the list. So they weren't the most recent or most important last four processes. So that's why it showed this smaller number. So that's just a few of the tips and tricks that you're able to do when it comes down to your RAM and just your memory and uh, the processes of your Samsung phone to make it run a little bit better. Hopefully that has made a little bit of sense. Now there is one more thing I want to share with you. I just restarted my phone because I wanted to show you this. If you did go through your developer options and you went all the way down to that option that we were talking about from before, where you're able to go down into your apps, and then you, you limited your processes down over into four, what will happen is that if your phone restarts, it will go back to the standard limit just because they are able to optimize a bunch of stuff and maybe what they think run your phone so much better so you're not missing a few things. So if your phone turns off or if you restart it or if you have the option where it, it restarts your phone once or twice a week, if it restarts and you want this to be back on of that background process, you just have to go back, turn it right back on and then just leave and now it's doing that new option. So let me know if there's anything that I have missed probably already by now in the portion of this video. I've already had comments below that either I was wrong or I missed something. That's cool. Share all of your knowledge, put it all in the comment section below, and let's just get all of this common knowledge to everybody from this video, which is all factual, but also with the comment section below. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.